Aloha no kako. My name is Kioni Ke Aloha Alvarez. I live on the island of Hawaii. Um, I just wanted to share something that was very disturbing to what I saw this morning. And I wanted to share that. Um, and this goes along for not only Hawaii, but throughout the world. And I hope uh, people can share this video of what's going on. But this morning, I watched on our local news that there was a burial desecration that was happening on the island of Oahu. And this burial site is located on a mountain of Aina Haina. And um, there's burial caves, known burial caves that's there of our ancient Hawaiian ancestors. And today, uh, we have people developing in that area and people purchasing properties and developing their homes. And this landowner knows that this area contains historical sites in it and he chose to build his home there and he wants to expand or whatever construction that he's trying to do but since a couple years that it was a complete halt on that project is because he started to develop in a highly sensitive area which has our burials in it and uh, he wanted to grub and grade and grubbing and grading meaning bulldoze and push um, he's claiming that he has a building permit but no grubbing and grading permit um, to do so so his project got shut down, but this year he just went intentionally and he just started to go ahead and wanted to develop his home there. Um, because prices are going up, um, this is an opportunity for him, I guess, to try and make some money, or whatever he's thinking that he's gonna try to do. The point right now that we as Hawaiians are having a problem with is people knowingly desecrating our burial sites. Um, and it is very disturbing to our people. And what we as Hawaiians today can do is support them, support the lineal families because there are lineal families that has connection or has ties to those burials. So we as Hawaiians gotta support them. Um, this government needs to also support us as Hawaiian people and step up and to stop these desecrators and it's not only desecrating, but what they're doing is a hate crime to our Hawaiian people. And hate crime meaning that our EVs are not able to speak for themselves. And today, we as the living have to speak up for them. And these haole, and a lot of people might get shocked that I'm saying haole, is because those are majority of the people who's desecrating these kind of burial sites. You know, and the word haole, is not pertaining to just a white person. When Hawaiian can be on haole because it is something foreign to us. We don't understand that kind of bizarre behavior that's happening to our burials. So our word that closely describes that kind of person is a haole. So if a Hawaiian is desecrating our burials, he's just as haole as somebody who's just coming here off of the plane. So we today as Hawaiian people are just saying stop desecrating our burials. People cannot own our burials, and I don't care if the landowners think that they own their land, they do not own our burials. Burial sites is no different than trying to own people. It's a humanity issue that we're dealing with, and we as Hawaiians are putting an end to it. You know, in my generation, I'm not gonna continue to see this happen. We, we are in a total different generation that we have to have understanding, compassion, love, for all different cultures and races. And it is an attitude that's going on. You know, we as Hawaiian people are the host people of this island. That is for sure, that's 100%. And the people moving here needs to respect that. And especially respect our Hawaiian burial sites. You know, our Hawaiian burial sites is what identifies us as Hawaiian people. Identifies us that we as Hawaiian people were here before any other culture. But part of that is the genocide that people gotta understand too. When you displace things like that, that has historical value in it, the haole, the foreigners know, that's how you genocide a culture. How are you gonna prove to them that we were here first if you keep removing these sites? And this government needs to stop that. And I'm talking about the government, meaning all the representatives, the senators, they all need to realize 
that this is a problem not here only on Hawaii Island and not only on Oahu but it is an island-wide problem it's on every single island Maui, Kauai and for these haole people to go there and desecrate them is very un -Hawaiian. it is not who we are it is not aloha of treatment and for us like I said that word reflects to how bizarre it is and as Hawaiians we can never be like that because we were never taught like that that's not our tradition that's not our culture and that is not our custom of how we did things we malama them we took care of them and this has been going on for generations you know we as Hawaiian people appreciate um, our ancestors a lot it is who we are it's where we come from and it's what makes us all different is culture and I just hope that the people who are desecrating and trying to desecrate our culture coming from wherever you come from and thinking that you're gonna have that intention about desecrating that we as Hawaiians is not gonna stand up for that anymore I'm not gonna stand up for it not in my generation and if I can say something then I should do it and I'm doing it you know I've done a lot of different things to try and preserve what I could and I did preserve our Hawaiian burial cave and we just got to support each other and I just hope that this government I'm talking about DLNR, Hawaii uh, Island Burial Council, Oahu Burial Council all needs to go down to Aina Haina and all that community below that mountain needs to go up to that burial site or go up to that landowner and say that is hevel what you're doing those burials in that cave has still family connections to them just because they're old doesn't mean that we don't exist anymore we're still here and there is a treatment and there is a type of respect that each and every one of everybody moving here should be treating our burials with dignity respect aloha and love and what we as Hawaiian people can do is continue to uphold that, continue to uphold our traditions, continue to support those families. And not only support them, but really do something. Really call and pick up the phones and get down there and show some bodies to support them. Because you know what, our ancestors are defenseless. Uh, they, they cannot speak for themselves. And we today as the living need to speak up for them. But I just wanted to say mahalo noi for whatever this can do uh, or bring awareness you know to the many people around the world we are indigenous people you know we were here before anybody w was here and it is a beautiful place and we want to keep Hawaii a beautiful place because it is our people that makes it that so I just want to say mahalo nui for you guys time and I hope you guys can support these families and I hope somebody who can do something whether a lawyer whether it be some government officials can put a stop to this inhumane this is a very um, sick thing that's happening it's a hate crime that's going on and it needs to stop because these people and these people meaning the Haole is desecrating our burials and they need to stop so with that being said I just want to say mahalo nui for your time um, I hope you can support these families. I hope you can co continue to support the cause of protecting our um, ancient Hawaiian ancestors, our Ivi Kupuna, who deserves to be protected, remain where they're at, because they were the first people of these islands. So, mahalo nui loa, malama pono, and until next time, ahui hoa.